conduction equation in spherical coordinates okay now how to go about this spherical coordinates spherical coordinates as i have already told you in my previous videos when i was discussing theories okay i have uh, i have already uh, you know de uh, derived this in my but since it's a tutorial class so i think these kind of derivation and these derivation you will find uh, every time in your question in your semester question so this is very important uh, along with uh, all the two derivations that i have done okay so it's in spherical coordinates so spherical coordinates is basically when an element moves along uh, in two uh, means uh, subscribe two angles simultaneously okay so one angle is d phi and another angle is d theta okay so here it is so it is subscribing this angle and it is also subscribing this angle so if you complete the locus it will be just like a ball it just like a football or basketball okay so this is a spherical coordinate so the volume of this spherical coordinate will be r sin theta d phi i am talking about the volume okay r d theta okay and dr so it will be like r square r square sin theta dr d phi d theta so this is the volume okay as these are the dimensions of the cube uh, spherical element okay so this is the thing okay qg you all know that is the internal heat generated okay now let's see the same thing the same thing has to be done but you know the thing that is required is you need to you know very much you know uh, precisely look at the coordinates and you need to decide what will be there in the area part and what will be there in the thickness part so once again let's come q5 okay so q5 this is the thickness the complete why because see this is the thickness so you need to take the complete dimension you cannot since we are writing q5 you cannot just do like d5 as the thickness no it will be wrong since this is the complete thickness this is the thickness that the heat has to cross so the thickness will be r sin theta d5 so let's go so it's a partial operator so it is del phi del r okay so again you know what to do that is q5 plus d5 just apply fourier's law here fourier's law here and just by little and then what you need to do is you need to actually take out the net heat accumulated so net heat accumulated you, as always will be subtraction of these okay entering and exiting heat so this is the thing that you will get after taking the net heat accumulated now heat flow in r5 plane in theta direction okay so heat flow in r5 plane in theta direction that is heat in flux so in theta this is the complete thing i'll show you this is the complete thing so this will be the thickness okay this is the thickness and the same thing goes on okay subtract it just by little arrangement get this okay now the next thing next important thing is k and uh, and the same thing okay now the next thing is this one okay that is that is from the previous equation that is this is not the main uh, this is uh, sorry ha huh, this is the main thing okay now heat flow in theta phi plane direction so it will be qr just the same thing okay and qr plus dr apply fourier's law here and here and then subtract it and finally you going to get this okay now net heat accumulated in all the direction plus the internal heat that is being stored inside plus uh, is uh, should be equals to the rate of change of internal energy and the same thing has been done see this is the heat generated this is the rate of change of internal energy and this is the addition of all the net heat this is the net heat okay so what we will do this goes off goes off goes off again divided by k here you will get k here you will get k and you can replace it by alpha as always so this so this is the main equation that you need to you are looking at okay so this is the complete derivation for the numeric uh, for the uh, three dimensional heat conduction in spherical coordinates okay